Good morning, friends. I'm Kate, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. This is one of my favorite styles of classes and how I practice when I practice in the morning. This is a slow good morning yoga class. So there's no vinyasa in this class. We're going to move through some postures and we're going to hold them each for about two minutes to really allow our body to open up gently and sweetly and get us ready and feeling good throughout the rest of our day. So if you practice this type of class and you like it, please give it a little loving thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel because I offer free new yoga classes right here on YouTube every single week so that we can deepen our practice and feel good in our bodies together. So when you're ready to wake up, and feel some more freedom in your body after a long night's rest, then let's get started. All right, friends, let's go ahead and start this day in this morning practice in child's pose at the back of our mat. So let's keep our knees together this morning and start off in child's pose, but we're gonna keep our hands back behind us. So really just allowing our body to fold over our knees Starting to tap into the rhythm of the breath without changing it at first. Just become aware of, is my breath short or long? Is it shallow or deep? And as you just kind of become aware without any judgment, allow your body to loosen up a little bit more. So maybe your forehead reaches all the way to the ground. Your hips relax a little bit more onto your heels. Your shoulders are loose and open. And then start to inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, sigh it out, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, two more times, in, out, in. And out. Not trying too hard here, but seal the lips and we'll continue in through the nose. And out through the nose. Again, in through the nose. And out through the nose. Then walk your hands forward, stay in your child's pose, but we're just gonna come into an extended child. So walk your hands forward, take your knees wide now. Different sensation, a little bit more depth with the hips, a little bit more flexibility, opening in the shoulders, but keeping those same long breaths in and out through the nose. And while we're here, breathing, allowing our body to open up, let's think of one single word, or maybe two, on how we want our day to go in intention for the rest of the day.
So once you have that word, and if you need one, maybe you borrow mine. My word is connection. When you have that word, exhale everything out. And then breathe in your intention. Let it fill up your lungs, your chest. And release the breath. Beautiful. We will keep hold of all our intention internally as we click the knees in to hip distance apart. Walk them back so they're at a 90 degree angle and melt the heart forward. So coming into puppy pose, heart melter. This doesn't have to be your deepest puppy pose since it's in the morning. Just allow your chest to come towards the ground and it'll open up with gravity over the next few breaths while we're in this posture. If your shoulders are quite tight in the morning, then take your hands as wide as the mat and that'll get more into the side of your body. Or if you really want to open up and you have the mobility, you can crawl your hands together. See if you can relax your mind, release any tension in your body in this posture, just allow your body to open. No judgment on how it looks. Just breathing through the opening in your chest and your arms. Five more breaths here. Find stillness. Beautiful. Roll all the way on to your tummy. We're going to take our right arm out like a T coming straight out from the body and roll over onto our right side. Your left leg comes up like a kickstand behind your right leg, and your left arm reaches up or back, or the fingertips can stay on the mat to support you. We're opening through the right pec, the right shoulder here. You don't want to really force anything or have it be too intense. Allow your body to open up. Give your body and your nervous system the chance to connect and be calm. And when your nervous system is calm, your body opens up much more easily. So breathe deep. Breathe with a soft face, a soft heart.
Three more breaths. Beautiful. Come to center. Bring the left arm out. And we'll roll over onto the left side, just switching it out. So your right leg will come up like a kickstand right behind your left leg. And your left arm can be on fingertips supporting your body in front of you. Lift it up towards the sky or reaching back. So breathe here. Allow your body weight to open up through your left pectoral, your left shoulder. As your body starts to open with you, maybe you spiral your chest more skyward, but there's no rush. We're just offering for our body to open, and in time it will. Three more breaths here. Beautiful, start to slowly with control come back to your stomach. Come through a tabletop position, tuck the back toes, press into the hands and send the hips back first, then up, downward facing dog. Take your fingers wide, press into your fingertips and each of the joints, the full of the palm. Feet will be hips distance apart, Trying to go for this line in downward dog from our wrist to our tailbone. So bend your knees however much you need to in order to achieve that line. Knowing that when we wake up in the morning, usually hamstrings are quite tight. So this probably won't be your deepest downward dog and that never really matters anyway. But we're just gonna move in ways that Open up our body, give ourselves the chance to find some more mobility. Maybe you take your feet as wide as the mat and press through your shoulders. Sometimes that feels good, just a different style of downward dog. Three breaths here. Beautiful. Now we'll walk our feet back to hips distance apart. Step our left foot up to our left thumb. Back knee meets the mat. Untuck that back toe and inhale up to low lunge Anjane Asana. On your exhale, sink your hips down and forward. A few alignment tips here to keep your knees over your ankles. I know it's a common thing in, in yoga and physical therapy to not have your knee go over your ankle. That is kind of being um, released now, but for this posture as we wake up in the morning, it's great to have that strength. 
Bring your hips face forward, so if both of the elephant ears of your hip bones were like headlights of a car, they'd be facing towards the short edge of the mat. So that will require you to bring your right hip forward just a bit. Keep your navel in here so your core is gently engaged. And if you'd like to add on, breathe both arms skyward. You can take Kali Mudra, so all fingers intertwined except for the pointer and the thumb, and point them straight towards the sky. Bring your forearms or your biceps by your ears so you're really opening through the chest, but your ribs are in. And breathe, keep a soft face. Feel your right psoas, your right hip flexor opening up. Five more breaths here. If you're in Kali Mudra and you're pointing your hands skyward, maybe you take them back a little bit, shine the chest skyward, scoop your heart center up. Just an option, you don't need to. And exhale, both hands meet the mat. Shift your hips back in space, straighten through the left leg. The left toes are flexed back at your face. And again, adjust your hips so they're both pointed forward. Find a really long spine on your inhale and maybe you're on blocks here. And then exhale, fold in. And it doesn't matter how far forward you fold, you always wanna keep this anterior pelvic tilt. So instead of rounding, think of rolling your hip bones up towards the sky, really long spine and shining your chest forward bringing your navel towards the ground, not your nose. Sometimes in this posture in the morning, it can feel good to wave slowly your hips side to side. Or maybe take really slow pulses where you come out then pulse in a little deeper, then come out and pulse in. So try a few of those, see what feels good in your body today. And we'll stay here for about 10 more breaths. On your next inhale, re-bend your leg back into that low lunge. Stay for just a moment. See how this might feel a little different now having stretched the hamstring on your left side. Then plant both hands, framing the front, front foot. Tuck the back foot, step back into downward dog. Nice and strong. Ooh, feel that difference in the side from just a few minutes of love. And we're gonna balance it out right now, but first you can take a few pedals out in downward dog. Maybe you come up to your tiptoes and then release your heels down. <laughs> Both of my ankles cracked there. You might have a little bit of cracking too, so long as there's no pain with it, that is totally fine. That's just your body getting out all the cobwebs and all the sleep from your body. So when you're ready, 
Step your right foot up to your right thumb. The back knee meets the mat. Untuck the back toe. You can start off in 90s with the knees. And on your exhale, sink the hips forward and down. Gravity is going to help you here, so we don't have to try it too hard. But we will go through some of those alignments like we did on the other side. So just check to make sure that your knees over your ankles here and that your knee is also in line with your toes so it's not splaying in it's not splaying out if it is then just back off a little bit probably just need to work on align or alignment or mobility a little bit of flexibility there in order to get it in line you want to take your hips like headlights of a car facing forward open through the chest so we're never caving in on ourselves be proud with your chest and bring your attention to the left side of your hip the front of the hip right where you feel the psoas the hip flexor stretching If you'd like to add on, then you can breathe both arms up. You can interlock all the fingers except for the pointer and the thumb, so a Kali Mudra. Your arms are reaching up while your hips sink down, so these opposite energies here. Easy with the face. with our last five breaths maybe you take your arms back just a little bit scoop the heart center skyward turn it just a little bit into a back bend opening through the chest or not that's totally fine beautiful on your exhale release both hands down to the mat, shift the hips back in space and straighten through your right leg. Flex your right foot so your toes are pointed back at your face. That's gonna bring the stretch down your hamstring, down your calf, down the Achilles tendon, the plantar fascia. Those are the muscles in the arches of the foot and the digital slip. If you have watched my classes before, then you know that those are one of my favorite muscles in the body. They're the muscles of the toes, and they have a really cute name. They're called the digital slips. So straighten your hips towards the front of the mat. That will likely require you to pop your right foot back in space so that your hips are aligned. Let's all inhale to a really long spine, even if you've already done this. Inhale to a long spine, and then exhale, fold it in to whatever degree, feeling the stretch in your right hamstring. Maybe your hands are on blocks here. Remember to keep a long spine and shine the chest forward no matter where you are. That's what's going to stretch the hamstring. If we're rounded in our back, we're just stretching our back muscles. But we really want to focus on opening the back chain of the body. So shine the chest forward. Keep a nice soft face here. Maybe even a little smile comes to your face. And maybe you sway your hips side to side. Or maybe you pulse deeper, then come out and deep and come out. Whatever you need on this side today. And sides will be different and that's okay. Mm. 
five more long breaths here. If you have not found stillness in this posture, I encourage you to do so now. Beautiful. On your next inhale, rebend the leg, come back into your low lunge, stay for a few breaths here. Feel how it feels a little different now, having stretched the back of your right leg. Feeling strong, the core is in, navel to spine. And one more final posture. So let's plant the hands, frame the front foot, step back into downward dog. Take a few breaths in downward dog as we set up for our last posture. Then slow with a lot of loving steps. Take as many steps as you need to to the top of your mat. Feeling the back of your legs stretch with each step. Just really mindful. And then go ahead and you can sink down through maybe a malasana, a yogi squat, all the way until you're seated on your mat. And we're gonna set up for butterfly pose, so baddha konasana. So bottom of the feet together, and it doesn't really matter how far your feet are from your body. But we're gonna inhale to a really long spine here. And then exhale, fold forward. So I like to grab my ankles and use my elbows to press into my knees, to keep my knees low to open through my inner hamstrings or my inner thighs, my groin. We're targeting the inner legs here. And again, try to shine the chest forward, not rounding too much with the back. And also knowing that it's still the morning time, so we're still opening up. You don't need to go hard with it. You don't need to force. And as we breathe in this posture, bring in your intention again. And maybe you think of one or two ways today that you can really bring that intention to life. And have them be fun and encouraging ways, ways that really ignite you and get you excited Ways that add vibrancy to your life and, and bring aliveness to your day. Beautiful. Five more breaths here. Allow the face to relax. Maybe you can fold in a little bit deeper after your body opening with you. Beautiful, slowly start to come up. 
We'll take a nice little twist just to wash it out after a forward fold. That's always nice. So you can come into an easy seat and these won't be too long of holds, but let's bring our left hand to our left knee and twist to the right. Excuse me, left hand to right knee. I know directions. I know. <laughs> And then switch it out, right hand to left knee. See, I know them. <laughs> and twist to the left. And release, coming to center. We'll take our Prayer hands to our heart center, a little tuck of the chin, and just a gentle, sweet namaste to end class. Namaste, sweet friends. So I hope you feel nice and open uh, throughout the entirety of your body and hopefully in your mind as well. Bring this balance, bring this openness off the mat into your day as well as your intention. And if you are working today, I also have some work break yoga classes because it's great to incorporate movement into your day, not just at the beginning or not just at the end, but to really integrate wellness and movement into your day. So check those out. They may help you out. And I'll see you on the mat soon. <laughs>